peace and love to everybody out there. That felt extremely corny, but I'm going to run with it anyway. Anyway, like I said, peace and love to everybody out there. Um, it's been a minute. I've been a little bit busy with a lot of different things. A little bit to a lot of different things. Um, for those that have subscribed to my channel, thank you very much. I know it's been a, uh, like maybe like two, three months or so since I uploaded the video. For those that have not, you can search LL Cool space J-U-W-O-N on YouTube. Or you can look at me on Instagram, LL Cool J-U-W-O-N. Uh, this video is brought to you by... <laughs> year of return caps okay so i designed these uh, caps for uh, the year of return in ghana that happened last year i have different colors you can go to the website it is yearofreturncaps.com and that is not what this whole video is about but this is what's paying the bills i think so i'm just using that to you know to market this real quick so yeah check it out multiple colors different sizes i mean uh, it's like a one size fit all so yeah anyway check it out this video, I am going to be talking to you about my trip. Uh, I went, I spent about a month traveling to different parts of Africa. I'm sure some that follow me on Instagram would have seen it. I went to Nigeria, Senegal, Ghana, and a quick, uh, uh, and then I stopped in Kenya. I stayed about, um, the Kenya was probably uh, the shortest trip. Other than that, in Nigeria, I was there for about 11 days, Senegal, eight days, Ghana, I think about 12 days. Um, so this video i'm going to be telling you the positives and negatives of those countries that i visited i will also tell you if you should visit those countries and which country i think you should visit um for those that don't know i am african duh right i'm nigerian so obviously if i'm visiting nigeria people might think i might be more biased because i'm already nigerian but i'm going to try and be as honest as possible okay um First country that I went to is Nigeria. Yes, I've been to Nigeria before. I went there twice last year. So being, being in Nigeria is like being at home. Um, nothing really, I didn't really learn, I didn't really do anything spectacular this time, except eat a lot of different foods that I haven't had in a while. Uh, I do plan on going back ASAP, just so I can learn more. I try to go to a lot of the African countries now, because there's so much history there that we don't have access to. In general so I try whenever I try to go there I try to either maybe go to a library go to a museum see what I can learn because a lot of those things are hidden from us right so and history is very very important so positives of Nigeria um, let's see Nigeria's home that's one of the positives also if you feel like I um, if you feel like I'm talking about your country and maybe I said something wrong if you think I said something wrong or if I forget something, feel free to leave it as a comment or feel free to DM me if you want. We can have a conversation about it. Positives of Nigeria. Should I start with the negatives first? Let's start with the negatives first, right? Negatives of Nigeria. No electricity or no constant electricity. For Nigerians, you already know this. This is not even something new. I'm sure everybody's like, oh, it hasn't gotten better yet. I wouldn't think, I wouldn't say that it has gotten better, right? Uh, for those that might not know what, what I mean by no electricity, it's like you get blackouts a few times a day or a couple times a day. Uh, I was in Nigeria for, like I said, I think about 10 days and every single day that we were there, the electricity was taken out for a few hours. Some At one point it was even taken out for like a whole 24 hours. And I live, my parents' house in Nigeria is in a very, 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 very nice neighborhood and they still don't care, right? Yes, there are generators, but <clears throat> it's 2020, 2019, the ending of 2019 is when I went there. We, we shouldn't have to rely on generators, right? So another negative is, um, well, speaking of generators, the reason why I don't think we should rely on, on generators is because the more generators you use, the more noise pollution, the more sound pollution, okay? So, I mean, if we can have running electricity, then we don't need to add more nonsense into the air. Another one negative is that Nigerians can be aggressive. Can be aggressive and then are aggressive. Some can be, some are already aggressive, right? And I'm speaking about the states that I went to, so let me be more specific because I don't want anybody to think that I'm speaking ill of their tribe or state, no. I went to Oyo State as well as Lagos. And if you know Nigerians, you know, we, we can be honest with each other, we know that Nigerians can be aggressive. Uh, you know, you can be trying to buy something and it's almost like people want to fight you for trying to buy, buy something. 
you know. Um, like I said, I've made a joke before. My, my younger brother once told me, he grew up in Nigeria as well. He said that you can go and try to buy something and the person you're trying to buy from can curse you out, right? I've witnessed this, I've seen this happen. So it's stuff like that it happens, you know. So it's like, you want my money or not? Uh, so that's another one of the negatives is the aggressiveness. Another negative is roads. They, there were parts of Oyo State, Ibano specifically, that we went to and it's like, yo, this is not even a pothole, this is a ditch. This is a setup for you to not even, for your car to not make it out. It's extremely bad. And one of the most popular expressways in Nigeria is that Lagos to, that Lagos Expressway, people know what I'm talking about. And that road is still, it's getting better, but it's still not as good as it should be because we all know Nigeria has the money. Um, another negative will be car accidents. Literally every day that we went somewhere, there was, I don't even know how many cars. There was always a few cars that were stuck on the side of the road, some kind of car accident or a car breakdown every single day, at least a few. And a few was more than three, okay, every single day. And, you know, that's dangerous because one, you know, you, you, it, it doesn't look good every time you're driving car accident, car accident, car accident. And another one of the negatives is the taxis, the taxis and like the buses, the big buses. These buses have been around for decades and they're literally running on their last breath. And people are still driving it like they fully function. Some of these trucks or buses don't have functioning brakes. They don't have any tail lights. So imagine the kind of danger that it, that's in. No, I'm not making fun of the people that drive it and so on. I understand that it's tough. But you also got to think about safety of yourself, your passengers, as well as safety of others that are on the road. You know, that's also why that Nigerian mentality is pretty bad, because a lot of people just think for themselves. Another thing that's negative is the traffic. In Oyo State, we ran into a lot of traffic, but no traffic beats the traffic that we ran into in Lagos. It literally took us about two hours and change to get to a 10 minute drive or to go through a 10, what would have been a 10 minute drive. We were stuck for about two hours. And this is not even an exaggeration. People that live in Lagos will tell you this. You can be stuck in traffic for hours and absolutely nothing you can do. And part of the reason why that traffic is so bad is also the mentality because it's people will literally almost crash their car to make sure you don't get in front of them. You know, it's very, very, very bad. And, I, and that mentality, honestly, it's like a sickness. And that's one of the first things that Nigerians need to get rid of or work on before we can even progress. Now, that sounds like a whole lot of negatives, right? I know. But now let's get into the positives of Nigeria. Food. Yeah, the food is pretty good. The food is very, very good. No, this is not because I'm Nigerian, so automatically I'm going to love Nigerian food. I've had Liberian food that I think or that I would say is better than some Nigerian food. I've had some Ghanaian food, well, maybe one because we'll get to that later. But I've had Ghanaian jollof from someone before, and I felt like that was very, 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 very good, right? So good food to me is good food. I'm going to be honest and blunt. And I've been to a few countries, so yeah, Nigerian food, it tops it off, okay? It tops it off. Um, just different types, different things for breakfast, different things for lunch, different things for dinner, different type of stews, but let's not even get too, too excited about that. The women, Nigerian women are beautiful. Uh, they also braid the best. They also break the best hands down every single african country that i went to nothing looked as good and as neat as the women that braid hair in nigeria like hands down uh let's see and they have a lot of art lots of talented people people will make art or make uh materials out of like anything you know they have a lot of talent that nigeria is a very very talented country it's just we're not I, I don't even know we're just not doing we're not doing as good as we could be right um, and then also being home, that was also one of the positives, is being at home. So um, obviously seeing family is always great. You know, being home is just a different feeling when you're home. If I missed something, like I said, please leave a comment or please DM me because I might have forgotten. Other than that, let's move on to the next country, Senegal. Now, here was a little bit of culture shock for us when we got to Senegal. You're going from a country like Nigeria, which is very, very aggressive, and then you get to Senegal, which people in Senegal are extremely calm. Calm. And it's, it's like unreal because one, I get to Senegal, I mean, we get to Senegal and they look like, no, they don't really look like Nigerians like that in terms of they're black. So, you know, these black people, you see them wearing the traditional outfits, but they're speaking French, right? So let's start with the, let's start with the negatives. Negatives of Senegal, the taxis, right? Yes, Nigerian taxis are bad, 
but the ones in Senegal are all pretty bad as well, right? We almost had to play a game of, okay, let's see which taxi we're going to get. No, that one looks terrible. I want to make it tomorrow. That one looks like it's going to just fall into pieces. So we're going to go with this one that might not have brakes. That's how bad the taxis in Dakar, Senegal is. Dakar, Senegal, as well as Sally. So we stayed in two different parts of Senegal. So the taxis are pretty bad, but the roads are perfect. The roads are perfect. And, oh, so that's a positive. Yeah, the roads are perfect. Let's see, what else is a negative? Uh, negative is also for me because I'm vegan, all, a lot of their dishes revolve around meat and rice, right? Yes, they have some foods, but not as much food as they should have because they have a lot of sun and water. So a lot of their foods will revolve around meat and rice. Literally, we have to eat rice like every day, right? Their two most popular dishes, yasa. You ever heard of yasa? Probably one of the best things you would ever taste. It's like a bunch of onions soaked, seasoned overnight, however they make it. It's very, 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 very good. And then they have the chebujen which you can get with fish or chicken, but it's pretty much like their own, ver their jollof rice, they started jollof rice, their jollof rice, and then they have like vegetables around it and then they top it off with meat. Okay, I tried that as well. Obviously, without the, veg without the um, meat, with the vegetables, it's pretty good. Um, it's pretty good. I'm also gonna be doing a another video. So after this, right, I'm gonna have maybe about four videos coming out. My next video is gonna be who actually has the best food, okay? I, I do, I'm do. i doing like a little jollof war because I made sure I tried official Niger jollof in Nigeria. I tried official uh, jollof from Senegal as well as Ghana, okay? So I'm gonna be comparing all three. Um, what else is another negative for Senegal? That was about it, the taxis and the, um, the rice. That was about it. The positives, Senegalese men and women are dark. That's right, that's a positive. Dark. When I say dark, I mean Akon has nothing on some of the people there. Because Akon is dark. Dark and beautiful. It's crazy because, you know, especially coming from a place like America where it's like black or darkness is not really um, meant to be something positive or something good. Being in a country like Senegal is like black. Their blackness is just so strong and it's just, be it's just a beautiful thing to see. Their men, like their law enforcement officers, like in the airport or police officers, majority of them very, very young. Not young like teenagers, but young like maybe early 20s and so on. Young, tall, and dark. And they just look like, don't even try it. That's what they look like. And I loved seeing that. You know, I think also things like that help with handling situations and corruption and so on. Because a country like Nigeria uh, will have a lot of older police officers who... It's just a whole different story, but Senegalese law enforcement on point. Um, let's see, well, another positive of Senegal, lots of accessories and lots of things to buy for men. I think a lot of things in Senegal cater to men, um, not sure why. A lot of them are also Muslim, they also speak French, but a lot of accessories for men. This right here, this beautiful thing I got around my neck, I got it from Senegal, okay? Uh, a lot of accessories for men. Let's see, dark and beautiful. They have electricity, right? Constant electricity, no black house, no nothing. They have Wi-Fi, they have internet. I was watching Netflix for some time because I was, you know, when I didn't have anything to do. And they're not aggressive. They're not aggressive. Um, the car is so beautiful that me, myself, I had to check myself because going into Senegal, I honestly didn't know what to expect, but I wasn't expecting something that's good, not even close to what I experienced. I was honestly thinking it'd be a little bit of like a village type and just something that's not as developed, but I was totally wrong. Totally wrong all the way. I had to actually see how much not knowing affected me because it, I would go based off of certain things that you see on TV or that you've heard about, but it's very, very beautiful. There's a part of Senegal where you're driving and the beach is on the right side and they have like the gym equipment for people to work out on the beach. And then it's just a long stretch and it just feels amazing. Like I would love to go back to Senegal anytime. The only hard part is that French, I don't speak French and French language is pretty hard, my opinion. Okay, so those are the positive and negatives of, of, of Senegal. If I forgot one, like I said, DM me, comment below or whatever it is you wanna do. Let's move on to Ghana, right? Modern day Ghana, let's see. Uh, oh, airports, Nigerian airport is okay. It should be way better than what it is. Uh, Senegal airport, beautiful. Ghanaian airport, beautiful. Um, the Ghana, Ghana, the negatives of Ghana, two big ones, right? Two big ones. I stayed in Accra, right? Different parts of Accra. Um, the smell, right? 
the smell and the smell coming from their gutters. So they have gutters, you know, on the side of the roadway, like some waste goes into. They also use a lot of plastic, and because you use a lot of plastic, and people are throwing into the gutters, that stops the flow from going. So you have gutters that has probably been there for months and years, and they smell. At one point, we stayed on like a third floor Airbnb, and we can smell the gutters from upstairs. So it's the, the gutters is pretty bad. Ghana did make about 1.9 billion from the year of return, so I would hope they put some of that money into like their gutter system because the gutter smell is pretty bad. Now, could that be because of a lot of the traffic that they got because of year of return? Is it possible? Maybe, no, I'm not sure. But either way, while we were there, the smell was pretty bad. And another negative is that the men pee in public. I, I mean, that's not really like a, maybe it's not a negative to you, but I had to see too many private parts because men just get peeing in the gutters and you know, stuff like that. I'm just like, it, it bothers me because I'm very, very smell sensitive. I smell things <laughs> that I probably shouldn't even be smelling. So stuff like that bothered me. But those were really the only, uh, only negatives. Let's move on to the positives. A lot of women with natural hair and I love women with natural hair. Kenyan women are also beautiful. Um, a lot of women with natural hair. Also, because of the year of return, you saw a lot of black Americans or black Africans in general from different areas all over the diaspora that came through and a lot of them actually had natural hair, which I think is the most beautiful thing. I think your hair is your crown, you know? I think you shouldn't be throwing chemicals in there. You shouldn't be covering it. I think you should, you know. Anyway, that's another topic that I know a lot of people aren't ready for, so I'm just gonna fast forward. A lot of coconut water. Right? Natural coconut water. I mean, we were drinking about at least 10 coconuts a day. At least 10 coconut waters a day. Because, you know, I've been to Thailand where they have a lot of coconuts. But we didn't even get access to that much coconuts in Thailand when we were in Thailand. You know, I've been to Thailand. I've been to Bali. I've been to Jamaica. Countries. I've been to different islands where you would think, okay, they got a lot of coconut water. Nah. They don't have as much as Ghana. It's literally coconut waters everywhere. And it's very cheap. One coconut water would probably cost you... In dollars, it'll, I don't know, 20 cents, maybe, 20, 25 cents, maybe like 40 cents in dollars, right? And I would drink, I don't know, four at a time because I know it's good for my body, it helps clean out the system, and so on. They have running electricity, right? They have running electricity, I think that's also great, even though Nigeria is next door. Nigeria does have running electricity, but Ghana does, and I love that. I didn't see any car accidents. People drive crazy as well. It's not as bad as it is in Nigeria, but I think I'm, I think I'm like dehydrated. I'm not dehydrated. I just need to drink some water, but I don't feel like getting up. Um, but we didn't really see any car accidents. You know, people drive crazy and you don't see any car accidents. They don't have a lot of traffic lights like that. And we still didn't see any, uh, any, um, um, any car accidents. Uh, let's see. Uh, we were there in December. Like I said, a whole lot of different people from all over. And there was not too much traffic. Right? There weren't too much traffic, like some people compared to in Lagos. Yes, I know there are more people in Lagos, but the amount of people that were in Ghana, you honestly, I, I don't know, it was a whole lot, I'm telling you, it was a whole lot. They had two big concerts on beaches in one day, and both beaches were packed. Like, it was a huge number, it was a, it was a lot of people there. Right? Mangoes. Mango in Ghana is big, and it's extremely juicy, and they're cheap as well. Well, if you go to the right places, it's cheap. Food is also very, very cheap if you're not going to like the fancy restaurants. Uh, let's see. So as you can see, we've got a lot of positives for Ghana, man. And Ghana, yeah, the women. Lots of accessories for women. Like if you, Nigeria has the braiding down pack. They have the native, like the traditional wear. They have it down pack. But if you need accessories, go to Ghana. That's literally like the best place. where I, We saw so much accessories for women. It, it was ridiculous. You couldn't even buy enough. Uh, let's see. We talked about the mangoes and accessories, and now let's move on to one of the craziest things about Ghana, or uh, something that shocked me. Ghanaian men get the best haircuts in the world. Literally, the best haircuts in the world. Like this haircut right now, you might not be able to see it so well, but it's literally the best haircut in the world, and you can tell that they get the best haircuts because if you pay, once I, any country I go to, I try to pay attention to the men that are there in case I need a haircut. Because if your haircut looks nice, there's a very good chance that your barber can do the same thing for me. And the majority of the guys that you see in Ghana have the sharpest haircuts you see. Without the black hair, without the tie and dye and all the blackness and all the spray paint, sharp, sharp, sharp. It can be a homeless guy, sharp haircut. 
The guy selling snacks, sharp haircut. The bouncer at the club, sharp haircut. It's ridiculous. Literally, I've been to a lot of countries. I've never seen haircuts so good consistently on black men, right? So for people that are interested in going to Ghana, don't even get your haircut before you before you go. Get there and you get a haircut for like, I don't know, like four dollars, five dollars. You know, if you're nice, uh, something like that. I, I I just pay double because I know in America my haircut cost me about 25 to 30 bucks because my barber is already busy so I got to make an appointment but yeah even the women in Ghana some of them that have haircuts they look sharper than the haircuts that you see on men you know so yeah it's a, it's a beautiful thing but part of their technique and what they do is they'll put a blade on top of a comb right convenient I have a comb right here they'll put a blade on top of a comb and they just like it's crazy. It's like the speed of the hand and everything. The whole time, 30 minutes straight, this guy's using a comb and a blade. And I don't know if you've seen my fade or my haircut, but it's beautiful. It's, I, I was so impressed. So impressed because I was skeptical. I, I don't use any of the barber but my barber for like 10 years. I only use the same guy. So for me to let somebody else cut my hair, like I had to because I traveled for like a month. So I know I needed a haircut. Uh, so yeah, that's so that wrapped things up, right? So now, which was my favorite place to, to go to? Honestly... It's like, it's that what well, Nigeria is always going to be home. But if I was to pick between, oh, let me touch Kenya real quick. I wasn't in Kenya for too long, but Kenya does have its positives. Kenya honestly looks like America. Kenya looks like America. They're, they're, one of their number one things is um, for tourism is like their animals. So they have a lot of wild parks and so on. We saw like crocodiles, a few, a few different things. Their food is okay. I wasn't really impressed with the food, but their roads are good. Uh, people seem um, very gentle as well. Their women also do braids very, very well, but not as good as Nigeria. Um, it looks like America. I could take a picture somewhere in, in Kenya and you would think I'm in America. That's how, that's how developed they are. And I didn't even know that before going in there. You know, so which country would I go to? I, which country would I go to again? I would go to Senegal or Ghana again. Kenya, uh, maybe, maybe, you know, but I would definitely love to go to Kenya, uh, Senegal again, go to Ghana again. Which one would I pick if I had to? I would probably pick Ghana only because of they speak English are so more comfortable they also have more food options you know they also have a lot more fruits so the, you know I'll probably be more comfortable there um, Senegal is beautiful I would love to go there because they have a lot of things for men but that French uh, you know it, 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 it sucks a little bit because like, we have to use like Google Translate majority of the time so those are pretty much a review of everywhere that I went to I have a paper here that I wrote down uh, which one do I think you should visit absolutely if you're not African I think you should visit Africa if you are African you should definitely be visiting Africa you know that, that's what I think um, other than that thank you very much for watching my next video I'm going to talk about the Jalof who actually have the best Jalof Ghana Nigeria or Senegal right I'll give you a quick hint on who's who might win Senegal started the Jalof that doesn't mean they'll win though, but I will be honest. So look out for the next video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. You can visit yearoftherreturncaps.com to buy or check out the hats. There's a lot that's available. And i see you on the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.